In the previous lesson, we talked about adding a checkbox, which is a great option if it's a yes or no type answer that you're looking for. For example, if people joined in the past year. What if you want to have more than one option? Maybe we want information on the type of subscription they hold, whether it be a standard monthly or annual or maybe a premium monthly or annual. That's four choices. So a good option there is to use a drop-down menu. That's what we're going to create right now, starting with the label here in our form as we continue to work on the How to Use LDC Forms project. So right under our checkbox, let's type in a label here. Please select your membership level. Put a colon in there, leave a space, and here's where we want our drop-down menu to appear. So in that case, we go up to Insert down to HTML. Again, we go down to Form to see the form elements, including a drop-down menu. So by default, we see this tiny little menu with a drop-down, and you can see an A showing up in there. That's just a label or a value that we're going to adjust by double-clicking our drop-down menu. So in the drop-down menu section, the control identifier currently says Select, but the identifier in our case is going to be a membership level. So let's just type in Membership. Remember, all the data that comes back to us from this form, we want to be able to identify it. In this case, it's going to be membership information. Now, the rows that you see here does not indicate the number of selections that will appear on the menu. It's the number of rows that are visible. So if you wanted all four of the options to appear visible and they simply select one, you would bump this up to four. Or if you want to see one selection and then have to click the button to see the other three, you would knock it back down to one. And you also have the ability to allow multiple selections if you wanted to. But in our case, we have to go to Options first to get those selections in here. And you can see the two that are here, A and B. With A selected, you'll see down below we have a label and a value that needs to appear. The label is what users are going to see. So let's type in standard monthly. And the value is what we're going to get back here, the code. Let's just type in SM. Now it doesn't need to be selected. It's going to be the very first option, so it's going to be visible, but we don't need it to be selected by default. And you can have one of these as a default selection, maybe the most popular membership, so people don't actually have to select it. Otherwise, you won't use this little checkbox. We'll just click OK. Now we see Standard Monthly. Of course, we're not done, so let's double-click to get back in here and go back to the Options tab. We'll go to B, change the label from B to Standard Annual. And let's use a short form here, SA. We'll click Apply, which applies the selection. And we need two more for our premium options. So let's click the New button twice. We have two new options now. When we go to the New Caption here, the first one we added, we can change the label by clicking and dragging right over it and typing Premium Monthly. And let's just put in a value of PM here. And then we'll go to the other new one by selecting it on the list and changing the label from New Caption to Premium Annual. And of course, the value that we're going to get back, the data we're going to see, might be PA, for example. So when we click Apply, we've now applied all of our changes. And if we want to be able to see those labels a little better, just go in between the border, between label and value, so you can read them. You can see the values that are going to be coming back. None of them are selected by default. Go back to the drop-down menu here. And if you're going to have more than one row, you might want to allow multiple selections. We're going to bump it down to one. So only one can be selected in this case. When we click OK, we see our new button for the drop-down menu. And if you really want to know how this is going to look and work, let's preview it, Control-W. So there's our form so far. Notice the Please Select Your Membership Level drop-down menu has a button. We click it, and here's where we make our selection. Beautiful. We'll close up our preview, save up our changes before moving on to the next lesson.